back to the round three game. You start again. You guys can't wait. Fucking hell, start. All right, so it's gonna use you as an easy. Yeah. <laughs> just so, just so you know. Just so you know. They already started the game like once or twice, but three did it. It's the same action, and it's gonna tribute summon for the sacred beast monster. Tribute yourself to spec a sacred beast from the deck. And you can banish it from grave to add another sacred beast from there. So Rich is on the right, who won the last round with Exodia, and Dwyer is on the left, who is playing sacred beast trap monsters. Uh, we lost to Karibo last round. So both these players will want to win this game, especially Rich, who's already a game down from round one. And don't forget to visit our sponsors who brought out the prize pool for today. <laughs> Blazing Sun TCG. Shouts out to Todd who lost last round, unfortunately. But it's Vanilla Monsters. And uh, check out the eBay or Facebook page on the link down in the description. Uh, gets your singles, uh, sets, and stuff like that. A bundle of cards you want to cheat. Alright. Carry on. Why is that two back row? And he has a Mon, who's a 4k wall. That's a pretty good card. The. I'm rich with the dot tokens. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. The GX era god cards, the fake god cards. The fake raw. Someone please pick up the phone. Yeah. Uh, Someone the right arm. Not the left arm, the middle arm. I don't have any arms, guys, but I've got two arms. It's gonna summon the Exodia thing. High level Exodia guy. That does cool stuff. It's a good car. You have to be lower life points to use that card, my friend. Lower life points, yes. It's all about this end phase. So the, the flex line will allow the, to the trap monster to pop a card. <laughs> Yeah. And then basically you can add an Exodia piece from the grave to hand and it's got no attack boost because there's no Exodia piece in the grave. <laughs> it's got free oh wait, it's got two five defense. That one's got three K defense. So everything in Dwyer's field's got two five or more defense. It's always got a wall against Exodia. Use so Hamon to kill Exodia. I can reveal Exodia pieces from hand. I can draw more than one. It's gonna reveal one Exodia piece to draw one card. In phase two, he's gonna set one back. Oh, it's nice you put the markers for the trap cards because they're still treated to this back row. Yeah, that's good. Allows you to keep track of how many back row slots you've got left. You've got five, it's not like duelings where you only got three and you can't play it after like summoning three of them. Oh, Swords of Revealing Lights stops attacks from opponents for three turns. It's MVP in the previous game. With Exodia. Dark World dealings to draw in this card, both players. Why would you do this to me? Ditch hand destruction and Dwyer's gonna ditch. Might be good if this deck because he likes having cards in grave. Ooh, Uria. Summon another arm of Exodia. Spec tribute for the Exodius. Yeah, if you destroy a muscle battle, you take a thousand damage. Um, so 
If I've got lower life points than you and you control the highest power on the field, I can reveal three cards from my deck, stack them on top of the deck, uh, draw a card, and then I can only I can't set spells or traps for the rest of the turn, and I can only activate one effect. Wow. <laughs> it's a really weird card with a lot of clauses. But it's really good in this deck. It is a threat. It's going to reveal two pieces as well as another one of those cards that I used. I remember having a right. Like, this is the most beamy card in any deck. There you go, jump. If you let me I'm stacking his deck, man, so he wins. I don't know what he is. I'll give him the best one. Yeah, man. There isn't really a best one in this situation. So he draws a card off that, but he can't use any other cards except one card for the rest of the time. You have to draw, mate. Judge. <laughs> I'm fun with that. going to pop. Sorcerer being light. That's pretty strong. Phase <laughs> a thousand, so they're both at even life points now. It is. It's very good in PU. I run it out free. Targeted against me. Oh. No, he mains it. He mains it. It's good in PU. I run it. So now you both have the same life points. Oh, he's got tribute summon. You can tribute something for that guy, right? Yeah. Is it, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They always spec the tribute. tribute something as a tribute, continue like plasma. Yeah. They always spec the. Oh, there we go. So reflex time goes to set, and he can activate it this turn. Nice. He's, he's gonna activate that. Spec ten, and he's gonna overlay the two monsters to summon. Oh, that's really good. Got to start max to buy for 2,000 life points. And I believe he's going to go into this guy. Which is, uh, is Rich's traditional deck. Yeah, yeah, you run it. Yeah, I know. You can actually legit make that. <laughs> wow. Metal Reflex line at level 10. Yeah, it's one way. Yep. Take a thousand. <coughs> and reveals two pieces of Zodia. Draws two cards. And he will attack for game because he's rich on 6,000. And he's going to use Swift Scarecrow to stop the attack. Wow. Ooh. I think Dwyer went for the bolt for the win this turn, but sadly, Swift Scarecrow. Hard for this deck. Very good card. More importantly, though, Rich is on lower life points. I feel like there's a turn that decides the game. It really depends. So Rich took 2,000, uh, 3,000 damage from the previous turn, so he's on 4,000. Yeah. Wire is on high life. Yeah. Would that be? Would that also then prevent another one of these fake draw thingies? Yeah. Yeah. So it's basically. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Wonderful. Sixty-six percent. Sixty. Sixty percent chance of perhaps winning the game. Uh, don't forget, you can only ask me one card at, after this. Uh, can only ask me one card after this card resolves. Alright, 
So there you go. Draw a card. So one activation, which is one day of peace. So you, no one takes damage until the end of the next turn. Including effect damage. That's the pass, so that's the one day stopping the game from being decided. Which is another turn to get the Exodia. Rob starts, he gives Dwyer another thousand back to 8k. Okay. Duality. Oh, that's. <laughs> and that is probably game. Oh, wow. Very tight game, that was. Oh, Dwyer went for that that turn. That was. Uh, that's where Scarecrow saved him. Holy cow. Just don't break then. <laughs> Easier said than done, <laughs> I know. Alright, so Exodia play goes first, and it's gonna use the Wallety to excavate the top three. I mean, excavate. Reveal the top three and get all the cards. And it's gonna battle fade it. Two hand. Can't special him in for this turn, which is not really a big deal for Exodia. One back. He's going to use upstart. That's strong. So gain a thousand for Rich. That's why it was a card. It's quite relevant in this. Slash uh, the draw fake can only be used if you have a higher, uh, lower life points. Than <laughs> Set a lot of back row because trap monsters. Maybe traps in general. It's not, he chose not to attack. Probably a good idea. But it is for Charlie. I can't believe that. That's insane. What? Right, okay. I basically, I tried to change up the deck. And um, I took like four plant monsters out and I'm feeding the bricks. Everything is just breaking now. Come back, man. Come back. Oh, we could, don't we have the guy who let Charlie down? That would be the worst. <laughs> Alright, so do I have something of a second trap monster and then it's gonna pop the back row using this guy? And he was chained more Boku. Oh, okay. You literally passed her. I know, I know. Boku. <laughs> Boku was just destroyed. We did chain it, but it's useless on the alternate unless we got GBs. Overlay. Utopia, Utopia, the Litling. He's very good against stuff like that. And he is now going to top to five, which means he's got higher life points than his opponent. Also gets rid of one of his back row slots. Uh, you got your back row slot back. Yeah, because you overlaid it, so it's not. Feeling. This card is useless now. That's why it's on the field. Dark World Feeling. Players well, discard the same triumph at the same time. So he's going to use Draw Fates once again. Top 3, because he's now behind in life points. You are fit watch as well. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen many people having that same. Wait, one. Signing. 
Yeah. It's pretty handy. It is, yeah. Stack one of your piece and two eggs on your pieces. Two oh, tiles that. Can we have you tell me a double at home? Can you tell me a double at home? <laughs> yeah, man. It does. It does, yeah. Yeah, it just pokes for two five. That's great. Po big pokes. Alright, so one day a piece, two eggs earlier pieces. Uh, I'm gonna shuffle that. One. Otherwise, I have a problem. So I hope it's pretty good. No, just for like. Idea for Pass, alright. Sit, it's turn, the rich. The joke's on him. Star Balfay is attacked 2 5, so 5,000 damage in total. Don't forget the upstart goblin from earlier, so. Which is 4,000. Yeah. Pass. <laughs> Pass. It's turn again. Three two fives, seventy five hundred, so fifteen plus in the battle face. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Cool. Just gonna use another one of those. Yeah. What? Someone two one. Someone two one. Okay. Thank you. Do I have some now? I haven't played him, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna stack two of the pieces, maybe a third one. <laughs> the wallet team, alright. So he stacks two exotic pieces into the wallet team. We'll see what he gets from there from the draw. We won't see it. Free me. So three cards. Because most of them can run to the back of the No, it's a zero cost one of them. Runs to the back of It's a three plus one. One day of peace. No one takes damage. You lose 2 1, yeah? Well, you can still come back. Whoa. Maybe. Unless someone else is scrubbing out. Okay. Three cards left in my So, twice turn. Remember, no one day if this is alive, so no damage can be taken. Both players. Peace. Three. Use that duality, which he probably did stack. It is! It's very scary. Duality, a, a obliterate, as well as a battle fader. I like fun. Do you like fun? I'm take the trap card, obliterate. <laughs> yeah, send an Exodia card from the deck, all hands to the grave. So I want my sword type to I have about 30. I have no in between. I have not. Start. Pop a card. Literally. 
No targets in great. Uh, 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 no uh, one. Uh, uh, this one. Uh, 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 five. That'll be game. Uh, Utopia. The lightning is pretty good. There's one card. Oh, and one piece. Yeah. One card. Left. Oh, two cards. <laughs> Three exotic pieces there. Oh. It is in it. <laughs> Terraforming, giving him the field spell, probably for Sacred Beast. I don't think Track Wild is something else. Okay, he's gonna go the Garden of Eden. Very good. As it makes sure Sacred Beast pretty much immune. A lot of effects. Just draw two cards as well. So set two for what? <laughs> Give me a hug. <laughs> Starts so gains a thousand. Which is quite handy for this. No. <laughs> Use Ledger Main, Banish Top 3. <laughs> to draw those three from Banished. Three turns. You can turn to combo out with Souls of Reading Lights in this tier. It's really good if you go, if you go off, them. it's pretty strong. Exactly. <laughs> so it's a revealing light, all right. End phase. <laughs> Level four thing. <laughs> Saw's at zero at the moment. Yeah. Tribute for this guy. Which allows him to spec a sacred beast from the deck. It's going to be a big one. 4k defense. Come on. This one managed to add number one from the deck. Which is really Isn't there like a card like two or three two cards or something? Yeah, he has it in hand. He searched it with terraforming last time. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, really, it's really good. It's very much relevant right now. Draw two because he's got a Hamon. Field. It's very strong. Is it just draw through every turn? Yeah, every turn. Yes, exactly. It's really good. Also make it more powerful. Probably destroyed as well. And what tier are you playing in? It's PU, man. Wow. It's, gonna get fucking it's not that good. It, it, it just bricks sometimes, though. Because you draw yeah, that but like, once you get that, yeah. yeah. Once you it get can, that. It is very bricky, though. But with the trap monsters, it, it's very good. A second legend main, interesting. <laughs> So it's a battle of whoever. Yeah, man. So this, this is a standby phase of play. Yeah. Dwar is going to draw like two cards every turn. Very strong. If only uh, Most situations. Play appropriate. <laughs> draw as well. Legendary doesn't draw, though. Not appropriate. So when he draws two, you draw two. Oh, right. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 Wild. <laughs> Set two, all right. And he does have... Yeah, he does have the thing that pops cards. And Slime is going to pop a card. I mean, the uh, this guy, the statue guy is going to pop a card. E will trap E to discard a card, set a trap, and he can use it this turn. 
just going to use that as well, so we can pop another card. Pop the other one. Let's go Poku. Nice. There's no reason. He's not here. What do you call? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of truck cards and spells. So it hits the level 5, which specs itself a free. That's very strong. We call 5. Contribute itself to summon a Sacred Beast from deck as well. Oh, no, yes, oh, God. That's the thing. I have to Tribute this to some of the sacred beast from that. Gloria. How big is Gloria? So he's trap card in the Continuous trap. Continuous trap. Yeah. 3,000, right? Can't attack him. So I think Metal Reflex Slime is a vanilla though, keep that in mind. <laughs> is it? Interesting. I thought it was vanilla, okay. So, uh, piercing damage, guys. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> pigeon. Right. Two level four. Probably round four. And we use Tornado Dragon. Very strong now. Destroy swords off with winning lights. Yo, what's up? It's Dre. What's up, mate? We just went round three, mate. And he does have Balfe, though. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, I'm cleaning myself. I was meant to bring my glasses. Yeah. I didn't see. <laughs> Look at that. What round is can I read? Can I read that card? You know the one that you just banished, Dwyer? I think it's got a restriction for attacking on uh, Only if you banish it. Oh, you didn't banish it this turn. You tributed it from the field, okay. What round are we in? Uh, round three, mate. Uh, it's game three, round three. Yeah. Yeah, um, you can yo 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 yo, yo you can tribute this card. Uh, also, monster you controls cannot attack for the rest of the turn, so you couldn't attack that turn. So battle fader, not in field. You can't attack this turn if you tribute it from the field. Uh, I had to check that. One. So I thought there was a big restriction. Yeah, most expensive card. So Hamon's in attack. Uh, you can't attack this turn because he used the level five on the field. Okay, Sacred Beast versus what, what's yep. Rich playing? Exodia. He's already won game one and he's won game two. Uh, so this game three. So now he can attack. But now he knows he's got Battle Fader. In Ooh, hand. that's some good prize support actually. Some tins. Yep. Special editions. Yep. And the dice. He has to battle fade of this. Yes, of course. Yep, so they basically replay of the previous battle phase. Ledger main actually resolves now, so Rich has got a massive hand. Perhaps used to 
Maybe fend off damage. Maybe. maybe he's got Exodia in hand, it's just not showing it to us. Biff check. <laughs> so who are their partners? Uh, Rich is with Brad, uh, Dwyer is with Greg. Uh, Greg's ahead in this group, but he's only played one round. Uh, Dwyer lost to Ch Charlie round one, 2-0. It's a pretty big result. Um, but Rich lost to Danny round one, and also... From what I've seen, it looks like Danny and Sam might be the team to beat, two former champions. Yeah, you know? Sam's leading, Danny's... If he wins that game against Todd, he's leading. So, it's pretty strong. Oh, yeah. Based on the Dragon's probably going to pop one of these back row. Right? Yeah. Blind, as uh, the back row. Boku, and hit the... Eight. Oh, Obliterate. That's a pretty relevant one. The one that can force cards to the hand. Or yeah, I can pop a card as well. Is going to be a spell. Bluff, I guess. <laughs> Even? Yeah. Didn't play all the way. You play like twice. Or yeah. 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 You drop, drop ones as well. Yeah. 6,000 or oh, another battle thing. No, I don't even have to play a uh, win. I strong. just have to torch it and it gets banned. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point we've got to now. <laughs> Hey, people are anti fin now, man. Yeah. Yeah. Let's ban more cannons. So he's going to banish Tijin to spec a boy from that. Okay, let's do it. a sacred beast. He's going to link off the two. Or Cerberus. Chain link rebuff on Greg. Yeah, I think it's true. It's true for cost, so it's not on the field anymore. So essentially, he's playing around the uh, draw right now, right? Yeah. He's got a link rebo. Field now. Yeah, how relevant that draw is. Right? See that? The nice thing is, he's got ledger main again resolving. Because uh, he used two ledger mains, so now he just basically drew three cards twice. What does that card do? Is that the banish? Banish three? top three, and then oh in the Lord. next three turns, you get the cards. Of course, that would be good next earlier. I mean, not yet, it's not revealing it, so... Oh, I've done that. Why do I have to forget my glasses? Nice turn. It's going to threaten you. Attack. Does this pop the Is that non tog And you pop the spawn as well. Oh my lord. What did he hit? Or Boku. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he set both of those then. Eh? I'm surprised he set both of those. But maybe he's playing around the MK's Twin Twister. Yep. Yeah. That does exist. All monsters. Uh, yeah, it, it just pumps a card for free, basically. Oh, yeah. Straight up two. So he gets to draw two. Yeah, you haven't done it for like four turns. I know, I'm just like, That's why I was like, ah, oh, what's he here? Why, why does he get to draw two? It's the, he's got a field spell, so if you've got a Sacred Beast on the field, he draws two cards. Every every main phase. Just draw two, yeah. Just draw two. What tier is Sacred Beast? PU. But well, they're bricky, they're bricky. It's kind of unstable, like, you can just lose them because of bricks and like, uh, but the trap monsters help a lot. Okay. That's why you combine them. To one. How big is your wire? He's gonna use it. The best card in the deck, draw, draw fate. Do you know what this card does? Which one? Stack three cards of your choice to top your deck, and then uh, shuffle them, stack them to the top of your deck, and draw one of the cards. For the rest of the time, you can't set cards, and uh, you know, you have to make one effect for the rest of the time. Okay. So it's going to add two Exodia pieces, uh, one Exodia piece and one Dia piece and a battle player. So it's guaranteed. So it's randomly stacked? Pretty much. So what did he choose? Battle Fader? He chose an Exodia piece, Battle Fader and one Dia piece. So that means he's probably going to get... 
battlefield or something. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to avoid damage. You can only activate one card for the rest of the turn, though. So one day of the piece will probably be ideal. You can only activate if you have lower life points as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of like courses there. Right? Yeah, so you can play around if you're playing against this deck. Which uh, I think Bly Wise did in round uh, a game two. And this trick. <coughs> so he was. Uh, stage two then draw. Oh, okay. So now you can't activate any, any yep. other cards. You can't activate any other cards for us. So. <laughs> We, we know what the two that he drew was. You knew what's his hand is. I've drawn all three cards that I stack. Okay. Yep. One day of peace, battle favor. I mean, if you have mind crush. It's got the statue. Yeah. If a trap monster summoned, it pops a card in the field. I think we're both saying. And the empty main phase. It's a pretty scary deck to play against, right? Um, his deck. Yeah. Well, I mean, there is an elephant in the room, and I wasn't going to say it until after he resolved the effect. Right. Exodia is not his only win coin at this point. If you look at the deck size. Oh, <laughs> Danny wants to go against Todd. Okay, so I'll guess you're out. So. <laughs> so he just got confirmation. Oh, he hasn't even got a point yet. So what? They they guaranteed not to Todd. Because Todd really lost. Like look at his Todd score. He's two o two o two o. So oh, Scott's his teammate. So even if Scott like wrecks everyone, the best you can probably get is top six. But well, he dropped the game already. So, so uh, very how, difficult. How, how many point. teams have we got all together? Five. Five teams, five teams and two point, teams top yeah, point, yeah. and playoff in the finals. Yeah. Have we ever had someone win right. playoffs three in a row? Uh, I think Bav did at the start. Three in a row. I know yeah. they won like three or four. I just didn't know if they won them all in a row. Yeah. So Rich is trying to equal Bavin's record yeah. right now. Um, about over a minute left. So, were they both to finish on 9k, how are we doing it? No, Rich is behind the life point, we know this. About a minute left, guys. They're both on 9k? Yeah. So what happens if they're both on 9k? Are we counting as a draw? Yeah, it'll be a draw. Get half a point each. But the fact is, if it's in his main phase, he might still be able to resolve Exodia. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, as soon as you get Exodia, you win. Oh, yeah. So you don't have to, like, fall out. So time actually favours I don't know what he had in there. More than Dwight. That was dealings, okay. So remember, Rich is behind about a five. They're both on 9k. Oh, they're both 9 points. Oh, like five times oh. I'm s okay, never mind, sorry. Oh, did you upstart last turn? Yeah, yeah, okay, I didn't see that. Sorry, yeah, yeah, that makes sense now. So you draw this card. About 50 seconds. Danger Orca switch factor. And Vayus is probably going to get popped. Extra deck. Two mermaids. First hand. What, what's that, sorry? Uh, it's an exo this the level 10 Exodia that uh, it's basically towers and an end face and Exodia face from Brave. We're going to see a monster uh, overlay bird. We're going to Max. It's going to burn for 2000. One day. One day of peace. Oh and my lord. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot it was like damage yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I think we're going to hit time now. Uh, three seconds, mate. Time. The draw. Wait, were you nice. Trap back in or? Hmm? You can't say a trap. Add a trap. Oh, you. You got the fucking trap. Oh, you don't have a space. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. GG, at least you cheated on it, camera. It, do, yeah. it doesn't matter. It doesn't right matter. Right at the end, you cheated. All right, I'll say that's a, a <laughs> point and half of both oh, players. Why? That's two for two now. How many exerty pieces did you have in hand? Huh? How many exerty pieces? Oh, you, you had to go for the draw. On the deck out. All right. All right, that's it for this round. Very tight game. Going to time. See you next round.